All right, welcome to another episode from The Chart Reader. So we are looking at some monster recent runners here. We're gonna look at SFR and CACO. SFR especially, this thing literally goes from sub 50 to actually hitting $2, my goodness. Some nasty, nasty money. Look, I often say it, right? Red, 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 red can easily become green, green, green when the when the timing is right and man, just, Break and moving averages, break and moving averages, break and moving averages. So we'll talk about all the details shortly. Real quick, what are we gonna do today? Same thing we always do, right? We're gonna take a look at the daily and the weekly to see how this thing is setting up short term. We do have our five moving averages. This is the first time I'm covering the stock, so I will draw some horizontal support and resistance lines. And then when we're done up here, we'll use the MACD, RSI, and volume as our lower indicators. Hey, really quickly, if you can please like, subscribe, share, comment, anything you can do really does help with the YouTube algorithms. But I swear, just being here and giving me your time is beyond appreciated, okay? And look, I'm not perfect. I'm not all knowing. I have no crystal ball telling me what tomorrow's gonna do. So if if you've got better opinions than me, you know I wanna hear them, all right? I'm not here to hate, and um, yeah, I'd love to know your thoughts, okay? So let's get into the details, and I'm gonna zoom out really quickly because this should look familiar. Whenever you see the $10 either up or down pretty significantly. Like this was a SPAC at one point. It definitely de spac into whatever we're looking at now. Definitely didn't do well, right? There are literally some people I really hope they sold, but this thing went from 10 to like we said, below 50, right? Like this thing lost more than 90% of the money. So there's definitely been a lot of pain here, right? But where there's red, 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 a quick little plateau and more red, 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 red. I mean, there's a lot of recovery to be had. And I mean, these last two days have been silly, all right? I'm gonna talk about Friday a little bit before we talk about today. So look, Friday was a recent runner to say the least. Literally under 50 cents, more than double, coming all the way up here, right? Like this is nasty. and. Every time I talk about the recent runner, despite the fact that like more important things happen here, look at the volume, all right? Thursday, we literally have nothing. We have 31,000 shares. Friday, we get 12, yeah, literally 12 million shares. It really was about the volume on Monday, and you can see not only do we hold it, because I'm generally worried we're gonna drop 50% or more. I generally say, hey, let's at least try to hold 80%. If you can do better, oh man, this is what you get, right? And you get another 30 burger after 100 plus. Like, that's huge. Another really important thing is the strength of the candles themselves, all right? I'm gonna click into this Friday. You can see right there, the high of the day was 150, and then the close, that green number on top, was also 150. Literally, the entire day, people were dying to keep buying, keep buying, keep buying, keep buying, until the market said, hey, we're closed, you can't buy anymore. Same thing happens today. Look at that, the high of the day is two, the close is two, right? You can see it right there. Literally, the entire day, people were just dying to keep buying and buying and buying. And then the market was like, that's it. I got no more for you, right? So again, what's going to matter tomorrow very much is going to be volume. Look, that's a very, very silly 90 RSI, okay? There there really should be a cool down needed. However, look, I mean, there's, there's just things that could happen. I'll be honest. I can see it maybe wicking this. I don't know if we'll break 304. I really think this RSI is just a little too high to break. But man, my goodness. All right, what were you here? 83, 80, nothing really in the 90s. Yeah, dude, this is a 92. So look, maybe tomorrow can wick this because again, that's a strong ass candle. I very easily can see this coming down to 173, 171, whatever, basically come down to this 100 line. I really don't know if that'll hold or not, but the next place would basically be 150, and then from there, it would be 109. There's a chance this thing can lose 50%. I don't think it goes much lower than 109, in all honesty. And again, I think a lot of it's gonna get dictated by volume. Look, MACD actually crosses positive, which is great. But again, that's a super, super high RSI that does have me worried, right? So I would be looking at 304, and look, after 304, 
that's some nice trading, right? Like you have basically your next resistance at a little past five, almost six, almost two X from this. Basically you have one little insignificant plateau in the middle of this like nasty red, 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 like going from three to basically the 210, I think is really where the juicy trading is. Don't feel too bad if you miss, I'll be honest with you, I didn't make any money on any of this. I really wish I was looking at this over the weekend and I definitely would have written this, right? But yeah, I didn't make money on either day and I'm not sad you know what i mean like yeah i wish i did i'm not pretending i didn't wish but yeah it's okay like you can't catch them all and kind of set yourself with expectations maybe tomorrow you can go from two to three that's a 50 burger if it hits otherwise hey let's just see if it resets at 170 something and then we kind of go back on that jump let's see if it resets at 150 let's even see if it resets at one and any of those it'd be cool to kind of take the next one and just look this thing's done a big pop and hard drop this is definitely a big big pop in a hold. So I'm not trying to say that these two are different, but it's it's popped and dropped before. Let's see if it happens. Otherwise, again, breaking 304 is going to be really, really interesting. I'll say that. And look just really quickly, now that I see it, MACD has done the same little peak up here, and it's actually also done the same little peak up here. It just hasn't actually held a positive MACD either. So just another thing to consider. But um, again, the strength of the full candle really makes me think maybe we'll actually hit this either after hours pre-market or sometime during the day. I just think the 92 RSI makes me really hesitant that three will break, but um, very much worth watching tomorrow. If it opens higher, you know, shit, nice, right? Um, I don't think it's much, oh, damn. That's an interesting weekly. We have obviously smashed the 20 so far, right? We actually broke it last week and so far we're, we're confirming actually. So man, that's a real, real interesting weekly. That's a real interesting weekly, my goodness, actually. Um, this has to be on your radar. There's nothing more I can really say except this has to be on your radar for sure, for sure. So I've got a really interesting thing here. On this system, it names this thing Caravelle International Group, okay? On my other thing that I'm, I'm looking at stocks, it actually calls it Pacifico Acquisition Co. Nonetheless, the charts look exactly the same. The daily gain looks exactly the same. I'm, I'm really gonna say it's the same thing. I just really don't understand why this one has this name and my other one has Pacifico Acquisition. If you know something I don't, I'd actually really appreciate you throwing it in the comments. But look, what are we looking at? This is essentially the same setup as Friday for the other one. Obviously a few differences, but I'll, I'll tell you essentially what I'm seeing, right? First and foremost, let's start down here. Again, 80% of the work is up here, but with my recent runners, it's all about down here. Yesterday or Friday, the last trading day, we had 60,000 shares. Today, we almost 10 exit, bringing it up to 5 million, right? Like that's not, and actually that's way more than 10 X. That's some bad math on my end. That's actually, I think you're moving the decimal twice. Nonetheless, right, that's a silly, silly jump from under 100K to over several million, right? So the question's gonna be, what's gonna happen with volume? Can we actually hold it and, and do better? Or are we gonna drop, right? Because again, let's just go back to SFR, right? SFR goes from nothing essentially to monstrous to even better, right? If that can happen here, you know, that's gonna be really important. The one thing to say is, is this, right? The high of the day is not the close of the day. Someone definitely, I hope sold, not bought, but yeah, the high of the day was 145. We obviously dropped to down here. That's not fantastic. But, but a couple of really important things with where this closes, all right? We're over the highest line in this, in this section right here, right? That's really good for me. Yeah, it's only a couple cents, but this thing right here is 115 at the highest. We're at 117, two cents, baby, is two cents. I'll take it, right? We definitely smashed three moving averages. Obviously, these are gonna start looking good, but end of the day, what's really gonna matter? I'm gonna set my alert, because again, I'm, not, I'm actually not in this one either. I'm gonna set it, what was your open here, one, two, three? I'm gonna set you at one, two, four. I actually would not mind knowing where 124 hits. Look, RSI is definitely pretty low, and that's a pretty nice red, 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 red to the plateau right here, right? So going from one, 120 and change to 160, that's, that's a decent percent right there. And then obviously, if this breaks, let me see, what line do I want? This is obviously the, the you know what, it's that one. It's the top of this guy. 
breaking 169 will be silly on this stock for sure and i'm telling you you got you set an alert i'm gonna obviously do it right now 171 is a is an immediate let me know you know what i mean but um yeah there are no resistances here so um it'll be really interesting look i normally don't put any weight into after hours let's just see what's happening it's actually flat interesting okay again i don't really care about after hours i did just really want to see it but this either needs to go up all right and look you can definitely set did i set the alert i already did set the alert right yeah i set the alert at the bottom of this. i'm so sorry if it was to fail i'm basically expecting it to come down to 109 or um 101 and let's be honest this line right here is almost 50 percent candle so i can really see it being 101 if it's not going to keep going up otherwise hopefully we finish off this red 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 and again after 169 sweet jesus and look why didn't i pick that one i think this one's just a little bit bigger of a candle and look we actually hit the top of this and the top of this and the top of this i think that's an important line right there so hey i appreciate your time if you disagree with anything let me know otherwise hey i appreciate you one more time